A harmful algal bloom, also known as excessive algae growth, refers to the proliferation of algae that can harm other organisms through the production of natural toxins, mechanical damage, or other mechanisms. Harmful algae or cyanobacteria can manifest as foam, scum, paint-like layers, or mats on the water's surface, exhibiting a variety of colors. Blue-green algae thrive in warm, calm, and sunny conditions with water temperatures above 75 degrees Fahrenheit. While blooms are most common in the summer and early fall, they can occur at other times of the year if conditions are favorable. Harmful algae blooms such as red tides and cyanobacteria blooms have significant consequences for human health, aquatic ecosystems, and the economy. It's important to note that algae blooms can produce toxins, and they're very harmful. These blooms can diminish the ability of fish and other aquatic organisms to find food, leading to population declines or even death. The thick green sludge generated by algae blooms also impacts water clarity, recreational activities, business, and property values. These blooms are primarily caused by dinoflagellates or diatoms, although cyanobacteria can also contribute to their formation. In the United States, blooms can occur in brackish waterways like estuaries and coastal areas. Brackish water, also known as brack water, naturally contains more salinity than fresh water, but less than seawater. Diatoms and dinoflagellates are types of phytoplankton, which are single-celled algae. Cyanobacteria are single-celled bacteria that live in water and can produce their own food through photosynthesis and they often form large visible colonies or groups. Algae growth depletes oxygen and obstructs sunlight from reaching submerged plants. When the algae die, the water's oxygen levels are further depleted, making it uninhabitable for aquatic life. Elevated nitrogen levels in algal blooms can pose concerns for drinking water in populations residing close to or upstream from affected areas. Toxins released by harmful blooms contaminate the drinking water, leading to illness in both animals and humans. If you notice a bloom, it's advisable to stay away from the water. Keep your dogs and livestock out of the water, too. It's impossible to determine if a bloom is toxic by visual observation alone, so it's best to simply avoid contact. Refrain from fishing, swimming, boating, or engaging in any water activities in areas where toxic algae could be present. Significant quantities of blue-green algae and its toxins can cause diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, skin, eye and throat irritation, allergic reactions, and even breathing difficulties. Symptoms of gastrointestinal distress typically occur three to five hours after oral exposure and may persist for one to two days. Exposure can also result in conjunctivitis, rhinitis, earache, sore throat, and swollen lips. Although less common, atypical pneumonia and hay fever-like symptoms can occur as respiratory complications. Remember, it's not possible to determine the toxicity of an algae bloom by visual inspection alone. It's critical for adults, children, and animals to avoid contact with blue-green algae. Toxins can persist in the water even after a bloom subsides, so watch for signs of recent blooms, such as green scum along the shoreline. Remember, when in doubt, it's just best to simply stay out. These are Interesting Things with J.C.